The following is a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about them, Cowboys? Yeah! Go Cowboys! Blowing out of the backfield, exploding down the sideline. This is Hanging with the Boys, presented by Wingstop, where flavor gets its wings. Now, your hosts, Jesse Holly, Kurt Daniels, and Nate Newton. What's going on across the sea? It ain't not. It, I, nah, that's a loud look at the Tostito Championship Plaza outside in front of the Ford Center where today it is a beautiful day. The high is 86 degrees. It's currently 81 degrees. We are curtless today. Um, you know what the, you know, the, 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 the fine print on those <clears throat> Blue diamond pills that Kurt takes at times, and they say if it lasts more than 48 hours to go see a medic. Kurt's at the doctor getting that checked out after his long weekend, so he couldn't join us today. He couldn't walk through the door, so he'll be out today. So you'll just have me and Nate and Chris. We'll get you through this show today. But for Nate, for Jesse, for Chris, we make hanging with the boys, the sports talk equivalent of Braille, people Feel yes, sir. Us. They feel you, Jesse. When you. we feel, speak, feel. your shirts have been showing up feeling. Come yeah, on, man. yeah. You been coming pastel, with it. Pastel, I like that. You been pastel, coming pastel, with it. Pastel, you yeah. know, it looks good on my skin. This yeah. thing was brought to you by Wingstop, where flavor gets its wings. Before we get into any Cowboys content, we have to take a moment to allow our good friend and brother Nathaniel Newton a, a moment to mourn. Your Celtics huh. took a loss last night. The, the, how did you? Bec- You're a Florida boy. How did you become a Celtic fan? You want to hear this real story? Is it a the long real, story? No, it's short. It's real short. Okay. I used to be like cheering for Philadelphia, but every time Philadelphia back in the day would play the Celtics, my uncle said, "Hey, you want to bet?" I said, "No, nah, I don't bet." Cause my dad was kind of really against betting. And uh, I said, you always go with the Celtics. He said, he says two reasons I go with the Celtics. <laughs> he said, I, I, the majority of the time, I'm going to win. Y'all don't take this wrong out there radio lad, because y'all know who Nate is and how I think. <laughs> I said, Unc, why do you really go with the Celtics? He said, they're all white. And they all can play. <laughs> and I'm going to win every time. <laughs> and I said, well, and, and I said, well, Ain't the winner? No, nah, no, nah, because blacks, they're going to vote against the white folks. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to bet against the white folks. And I, said, and I watched them for year after year after year. <laughs> Just kidding. And then when it, back then, it was winning championships, too. Right. With John Havlicek and uh, Hund- uh, Come on, man. Come on. JoJo White, all those guys, Nate Tiny Archibald, Dave Cowers, all them guys. I used to be sitting there just learning the names. <laughs> And then I just fell in love. And he said, you like them? I said, yeah, I like them because they win. And he used to look at me. I said, okay, you can say what you want. And I, I've been a Celtic ever since, man. Hey, whatever gets you to that place. The, <laughs> yeah. the Celtics, after being down three zip, rush back, win three games in a row, get to a game seven, and they lose to the Miami Heat, who, when you look at the Miami Heat, are a better team. The Celtics are more talented. The Miami Heat are a better team, and when you have the others step up. Uh, last night, the guy, uh, Gabe Vincent, who was a G League player, two-way player, um, stepped up 20-something big points for them. He played outstanding and helped this team get Miami get to the championship. And that takes me into, this is what we call a professional segue. Okay. That takes me into our first topic of the day. Yes, sir. For the Dallas Cowboys, because, you know, when you get to the National Football League, this is the creme de la creme, right? This yes. is whether you're the ACC, SEC, whether you're D1 or D2, whether you're HBCU, whatever it is. When you get to the National Football League, it is the best of the best. It, it is, it, 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 it's the best of the best. All of these guys, you got all pros on all teams. You got all decade players on all these teams. You got all conference. I mean, you have all the best of the best on these football teams and, and and not only sometimes the most talented team wins it, but sometimes the better team wins it. And I think one of the key components for winning championships are the others 
are the other guys on the football team? And yes, we know the Micah Parsons, right? That's going to be given. Yes, we know the quarterback, the most important position on the football field. But when you look at this roster currently constructed, I know that we still have to go through some OTAs, and I'm not not foreshadowing injury, but just the way that it's currently constructed, what player or players – on this current roster, need to take the next big step? Like, what player or players, like, all right, Dak's Dak, right? Micah is Micah. I understand where you're going. Right? What players, what others on this current roster do you feel have to take the next step in order for this Cowboys team to find themselves in a place where your Celtics used to be? Right, still and your Cowboys, we, we, we don't stop, don't and your stop. Cowboys, you going on and on, no, 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 used no, no. You're to be the dead horse. No, 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 I'm just saying they no, used to be hear. perennial. You ready for my player? No, you re- not, you not, ready for no, my player? No, not until I pass it off to you. Okay, okay, you got to hurry up. You've no, been talking we, we eighteen got, minutes. We got all day. It's just no, me and you. I have to eat up the time that that Kurt's not here. I have to eat up that time as well. No, 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 no. Come on, let's go. What player or players have to help the Cowboys get back to winning ring number six? To getting into the second round of the playoffs and winning. Because, <laughs> uh, me, you do see that differently. It ain't that easy. I keep telling folks. Uh, Matt Forniak. Matt Forniak, guard. Uh, he has to play 6'5", 3'11". He has to come to play. He has to not be that injured guy. He has to make it through training camp. He has to force the coach's hand so much till they really give him a, a, a honest to goodness shot at that left guard. If we can do that right there, that, not, that gives us a possible starter and definitely a backup that can play center too. So if we can get Matt Farniak to come in, stay healthy, develop into that uh, true I, – I, I, I would like for him to start, but I don't know how – Coach Solari feels about that. But that is the guy, and that is the one guy I'm going to talk about all year. Uh, we got well, if up. he doesn't start, that then he's a, he's he's a valuable a backup. back, right? No, no, he, no, because he's a swing guy. You know, he's a swing guy. He's been playing the center. But we need for him to start because I'm, I'm projecting somewhere in there we're going to have an injury, be it Tyron, be it uh, Steele, slow to come back. So now I'm trying to do, in my mind, the last of the musical chairs. If they feel comfortable with him starting, then we can put uh, Tyron at the right tackle and Tyler at the left guard, left tackle. You, you get what I'm saying? If he I can start, you. if Steel is not ready. But if Steel is ready, then you go with uh, – be honest. You go with uh, the All Pro. You go with Steel. You go with uh, Tyron at the left tackle and, and and Tyler at the left guard. And then you still got a center guard that's ready. Mm-hmm. And so that that guy, Matt, has to step up. Now, uh, other guys, I'm just gonna wait till the to to start because I, I'm, I'm gonna beat this and I'm gonna beat it. I'm, I'm, I'm this. If you have no offensive line, stop with your foolishness. If you have no offensive line, ladies and gentlemen, you're not going to do anything. I don't care how good your quarterback is. I don't care how great your wide receivers are. You are doomed. So until we find out who that left guard is going to be, you know, it could be one of the draft picks. It could be. But they have to put this guy in. Training camp means more to this offensive line now this year than it ever has. It cannot be any days off. For guys, if you ain't played at least six years in the league, seven years in the league, you should be telling coach, I don't need a day off. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious because it's a job to be won. That left guard is anybody who desires it. That left guard is anybody who desires it. You know, and I would be fighting for that. If I'm, if I'm, I'm like, coach, no, I, I'm, I'm good. You know, so that's my one guy and that's my only guy I'm going to be looking at. And that's not a bad. That's not a bad place to go, and it's fitting, right? It's, it's fitting for for you, for the position, for this team's success. We know that this quarterback and this offense runs more efficiently, more smooth when he is able to be clean. Yes. And when he's able to be clean up the middle, when he when he has pressure in his face, when things are a little bit off kilter, coming from 
that vantage point, it throws off what Dak Prescott wants to do. And especially now that this team is going primarily to this West Coast offense, this more quick timing, this on-pace type of offense, having those guys in the middle held up, being, being able to hold up to get the ball off accurately is going to be uh, extremely imperative for this team's success. My guy is Sam Williams. My guy, my guy is Sam Williams. Good choice. And, and the reason why my guy, I think Sam Williams can be an extremely his his X factor ability. You can look at Sam Williams and you can say the raw talent is there, the raw strength is there. But in a world where you can have a guy like Sam Williams, who is strong, who's young, who's athletic, had four sacks last year, had 15 um, solo tackles, seven assisted tackles last year. If Sam Williams finds himself in a permanent place, now your rotation up front can be magical. Because we know what would you get Micah Parsons. You can back him up at linebacker. You can have him at rush in. You can you can use a guy like Sam Williams in, in the interior, outside. You got guys like Tank. I mean, this can be a, a, a mashup. And then you can kind of insert Mozzie Smith and, 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 and Big Hankins. And that's, you know, so if you want to kind of get into that, when, when I used to play, the Giants had uh, had a NASCAR package, right? And it would be Tuck, uh, O.C. Yuminura, um, a young JPP, Chris Candy. I mean, they, they, they this be coming. boy. That NASCAR was ooh, sweet. Ooh, I, I, yeah. mean, I mean, and they would sometimes, they would have six guys standing up, the little amoeba defense. And, right. and, and you look up and it's, it's Canty, it's Tuck, it's Osa Yuminura, it's yeah. JPP. Right. And, and you're like, and then they would leave him on the field for like a pump block. And I had to come in. And I'm like, come on, please. Yeah. Stop, guys. I think Sam Williams can give this defense that sort of flexibility. If he takes that next step, and for him, it's 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 not the physical traits, it's not the physical tools. I think the biggest thing for him is the mental part of the game. And and that's why I always talk about defensively, give me the veteran defensive guys. Because good defenses are made up of guys who have the ability to learn and to be able to move in different formations and configurations quickly. At, quickly. Yes. If you can assess, right, that, that is defense. If you can read your keys, assess, go get the football. If you're thinking, you know this as a guard, if yeah. I can hook you, I got you. Right. If I can get that, if I can get that lead leg up the field, I got you. Right. But if you beat me to the point, I'm in for a dogfight yeah. all day long. That's right. And, I, and that's the mental part of the game, understanding down the distance, formations, offenses. And then now if you've been around, especially in division, you've been around the division for a year. You've seen Philadelphia twice. You've seen New York twice. You've seen Washington twice. And now being able to take that information and that knowledge that you had and that you'll continue to gain, put that together and now thrust forward into the next season with the level of intelligence uh, uh, and, and information that you haven't had before, I think for Sam Williams, he can be a guy that can can, can really wreck some things uh, for opposing offenses coming from this defense. This this is the amazing thing that to add on what you're saying. If if Hanks and Mozzie and Gallimore and Osa, because Osa is going to be a three down guy. But if these other three guys I've mentioned do their job on first and second down and always have these guys in a in a passing situation, what you're saying can be, what you're saying can be devastating mm-hmm. because that is what kind of happened early in the year, you know, before teams just figured out, hey, we're going to just run regardless of what package they have in there, we're going to run. But now when you can stop that run, I limit it. Now, this, this NASCAR package you're talking about, and if Sam can mature, you know, the, the word we're looking for here is mature. That's a great he word, can, yes. If he can mature and understand that body slamming folks on their neck, <laughs> <laughs> you know, running and but hitting see, quarterbacks I like that. late. I, I, I like – like, that's the thing. It's like I can always dial a player back. Yes. It's so hard to get a guy to get going. 
So we know that you have that, Sam. Now I just need you to use this and realize you, this isn't the WWF. Right. Right? You you can't Batista bomb right. a player. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. This, they will protect the quarterback, Sam Williams. So when you get there, if you if you feel like you ain't get there in enough time, let up. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because those type of things will hurt you in the end. But I love the the I love that part. I love the fact that he's aggressive and he's physical and that that's always going to be a part of his game. All right, let's go to our first break of the show. We're going to try this again. We tried it last week, but we weren't up live. I think we're up live and ready to go now. So in the third segment, we're going to take calls. We want to hear from you. 888-855-2297. 888-855-2297. But in the next segment, we've famously heard our boss, Mr. Jones, say that he would write any amount of money in his checkbook to win a Super Bowl. Well, there may be a player out there right now that can catapult his team to winning a Super Bowl. Is our boss ready to, to, to really to really to really open up that check and write the money that he says it is? We'll, <laughs> we'll talk see. about it a little bit we'll more see. about that player when we come back from the break. This is Hanging with the Boys. We'll be right back. Hey, Cowboys fans, ready to spice up your next watch party? Bring Yokiero guacamole and be the game day hero. Yokiero means I want, and we know you want, great, fresh-tasting, ready-to-serve guacamole for your home-gating and tailgating events. Made with real avocados and the perfect blend of spices, it will be the star of any party. You can find us at your local Albertsons or Tom Thumb in the deli section. If you can't find it, talk to your store manager and tell them, Yokiero, Yokiero guacamole. Star Sports Tours is the only official fan travel partner of the Dallas Cowboys, offering exclusive game weekend travel packages with pregame sideline access and photo ops with current players, cheerleaders, and Cowboy legends. You want to stay at a team hotel, attend the best tailgate party in Texas, tour the star, and talk X's and O's with me, Everson Walls? With Star Sports Tours, you can. Visit CowboysTravel.com to book your travel package today. I'm Dak Prescott, quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. Blockchain.com is one of the most trusted ways to buy, sell, and trade crypto. Whether you're always on the go or stay closer to home, Blockchain.com is just a few taps away. Put the power of crypto in your pocket so no matter where you are, you can trade on your terms and build a crypto portfolio to fit your life. For crypto pros, rookies, and anyone in between, Blockchain.com makes it easy to own a piece of the future. Blockchain.com, trusted by millions, trusted by America's team. SeatGeek has your back no matter what kind of fan you are. So whether you're a diehard fan or a don't really care fan, a we got them next time fan or we'll never win again fan, a here for the tailgate fan or a first one through the gates fan, SeatGeek not only makes buying and selling tickets easier than ever before, they made just about everything else easier too. So whether you're a here every week fan or haven't been here in years fan, SeatGeek has you covered. Download the SeatGeek app today. SeatGeek, your ticket to great seats. Back to Hanging with the Boys. Welcome back to Hanging with the Boys on this Tuesday off-season edition. The Cowboys completed the OTAs last week. We'll continue to talk about it some more. But this segment is brought to you by Blockchain, blockchain blockchain.com. Also, Tacos and Tunes. There's a new date. Head to Miller Lite House at AT AT&T Stadium for the Dallas Cowboys Tacos and Tunes Festival presented by Miller Lite. Rescheduled to Saturday, June 3rd from 3 to 8 p.m. Enjoy a variety of tacos and food truck options while you sip on cold drinks. Listen to live music and mission the parking for this Dallas Cowboys Tacos and Tune Festival is free. F-R-E-E-E. We love free on this show. Visit attstadium.com slash tacos and tunes for more information. Also, Juneteenth. Yes. Juneteenth. And eight. You went to an HBCU. Join us for the Dallas Cowboys Juneteenth celebration in partnership with Miller Lite. Miller Lite. Boy, we we love some Miller Lite around here. That's our title sponsor. We love you, Miller Lite. At the Miller Lite House at AT AT&T Stadium on Saturday, June 17th from 4 to 8 p.m. Enjoy live entertainment. Play long games. Shop local black-owned businesses. For more information, visit attstadium.com slash Juneteenth. Come on out there and shop black. Our boss, Mr. Jones, billionaire Jones, mogul, hands in everything, but the Cowboys are his baby. 
famously came out a few years ago and said, if you guys knew the amount of money that I would write on, in my checkbook to, to assure my team a Super Bowl victory, it would be embarrassing. And year in and year out, we look at guys who come open on the free, the free agent market, and you're going, boss, Mr. Jones, Jerry, general manager, owner, billionaire. There's a guy out there that if you just write the check, may be able to help us get, as you said, to out of the second round, <laughs> out of the second round victory. And we come to that offseason moment again. DeAndre Hopkins was released uh, by the Arizona Cardinals a couple days ago. They tried to find a trade partner for, for him, and they just couldn't find one. Um, and, 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 and Nuke, he kind of gave a couple. He said, you know, he, want, he wants a stable front offense. He wants a quarterback who loves the game, and he wants a championship defense. I think we have all those here, right? Do we have a stable front office? Yeah, we have a stable front office. We have a stable. We, we don't have. We don't. Our front office is not unhinged. Like there's a lot of unhinged. Oh, I know. Front I, office. I'm, I'm, I'm being sincere. Yeah, our quarterback loves football. You would agree. Yes, our quarterback does. Right, and wow. yeah, we and we have what can be the makings of a championship defense. We added Stephon Gilmore. Uh, Michael Parsons is there. We drafted Mozzie Smith. I mean, there are pieces in this defense that can be Trayvon Diggs. Let me say this. This dude has just tore apart the team he just left. Did he tear apart the team he just left, though? <laughs> no. Or was that, again, a wild fr- – this is this – Arizona was He said was he this- wanted a team that with a stable front office. Arizona is the same team who gave their head coach an extension and then fired him a couple months That's later. That's what I'm saying. Arizona is the same uh, team. unstable right. front office, a quarterback that is truly being questioned whether he loves the this game. Is this, the front office put a clause in a contract to their star quarterback when they gave him a hundred – what did they give him? A hundred and sixty yeah. million dollars guaranteed? And they said, you have to study a certain amount of hours a week? Then they retracted that statement because it kind of got in the media and all that kind of stuff. And it's like, okay. He leaked it into the media, the quarterback. And then whenever you get a great player, you don't, they has, they've got some nice defensive pieces. I, I, and I'm saying in my mind, when I first heard that this young man, and I know we supposed to be talking Cowboys, when I first heard that this young man, I'm talking about the quarterback, was okay. not who you would want him to be. Mm-hmm. And it's and it keep popping up the same way. I mean, I have nothing against this kid. I seen this kid win his first high school game, and saw him go undefeated. Seen him went to Texas Tech, transferred to Oklahoma, and had an outstanding career. And that's when it first leaked that this kid was not uh, team friendly. <laughs> and then he goes to the NFL. And still, when I hear Fitzgerald say, not, not nothing really bad, but this guy's not team friendly. And now I hear this again. You, you make your living as a quarterback not handing it off. You make your living as a quarterback throwing it. Mm-hmm. This is the second great receiver that is left there. Now we can go ahead. <laughs> wow. So – the Cardinals, this isn't a, a post-June 1 cut. This is a flat-out. Yes. We, t- we, we taking it. We, we, we <laughs> Right. On the chin, right? And so he's, he's owed, uh, let me see here, $27, $27 million. $27 million that he's owed from the Cardinals. Now, this, is, this, is, this can be a little bit of a double-dipping situation because the Cardinals have to pay him what they owe him. That's right. So I don't know what DeAndre Hopkins thinking is. I don't and I don't if he's not a DFW residence resident, he spends a lot of time here. Right. Saying he was right. you know he's been he's been recorded training with Dez a lot. He spends a lot of time. He recently was just talking the other day in DFW a, a, a fan got a picture with him in DFW. So he spends a lot of time in this area. Yes. Jerry is the Ultimate salesman. The ultimate salesman. Right, right, right. And it can give you things outside of football that many other ownerships can't. Just the ability to know how to make money in a business. 
if I'm Jerry, if I'm Mr. Jones, I come to DeAndre and I go, listen, we know what Arizona already owes you. You're getting that. Okay? Now, maybe we can't give you what we're what, what um, the Ravens gave. Because I think Odell Beckham set kind of the market of what the, 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 the older free agent receiver was going to get. Right. Maybe we can't give you what Baltimore gave Odell Beckham. What we can give you is stable front office, a quarterback who is All about in it. love yeah. with football, right. who is a great leader, right, right. Who, who, who is someone who you want to associate yourself with, and you have pieces on that defense that can make this a championship defense. We've seen this defense for that portion of the year when Dak was out be a, an all-time defense. You that's know, right. That's an right. all-time defense that's right. for those five or six games. And you try to work out, and then you go, hey, this is the Dallas Cowboys. So whatever off-season ventures that you may have in business-wise, I can help you, son. <laughs> I can enhance I can enhance that, son. <laughs> yeah. So while we may not be able to give you the $15, $16 million, maybe we can give you somewhere, you know, maybe we can make an incentive latent. Right. And maybe get you up to that point if we get to where we need to get to. But what I'm going to do for you, what this fan base is going to do for you, this can't be done anywhere else. Is, is, is that enough for Jerry, for, for, is that enough for DeAndre Hopkins to say, you know what, Mr. Jones? I'll be your Huckleberry, brother. I'll come along. I'll come alongside you. I'll come alongside you with with C.D. Lamb, with with Brandon Cooks, with Michael Gallup, and I can be that other guy. Because that's another option. You look up and you go, wait a second. Teams can't lock in on me anymore. If I come to the Dallas Cowboys, I'm looking there. There's a rising star in C.D. Lamb, right? There's, There's Brandon Cooks, who's a grizzled vet. There's a young guy, Michael Gallup. If he gets back to where he gets back to, then I can... I, I, you mean to tell me I, I can be out here a lot of times in single coverage? That, that's pretty enticing. That's pretty enticing. But does Jerry get to the point where it comes out to that checkbook of maximizing it? Like, don't insult him, Jerry. Like, don't don't give him a number that's insulting. Give him a number that says we can't be that, but we can be this. And here with this comes along. Boop, 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 boop. Wow, man! But Hopkins was projected; he was supposed to make fifteen point five million this year. He's probably not going to get that in free agency. You, you know, at this point, right? And that's what I'm saying. Like, don't insult him. Don't 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 say six. <laughs> don't say six. <laughs> don't say six. That's insulting to him, right? Say ten. Say eleven, and also the twenty-two million you're talking about—it's a dead cap hit. He's already been paid that. Yeah, he's already been paid. Okay, he's not getting paid by. So he just make make sure there's zero cash this year from Arizona going to him. So, the thing is, I, I I believe this, fellas. We just went to Walt Disney World, and you can get into Fantasyland, which I thought Odell Beckham was. That was (laughs) Fantasyland. Uh, you can go to Adventureland, and you can you you can really see some of these things happening. Uh, I don't know how Mr. Jones do. He really since he made that statement years ago, but when he came when he became free, I said to myself, "Could C.D. Lamb stand this dude being in the room?" That's the first thing I thought because I know Brandon Cooks has played with great receivers before, and I'm saying to my mind. <laughs> Boy, CD, can you just put it to the side for a year and let you and let and see what a real dude, <laughs> see what a beast can do? And, and I just couldn't make myself believe that CD Lamb could do that. Do you think he could do that? That's a great question. Because <laughs> I'm with you. I, I, That's a great I, I te- question. I text uh, Isaiah. I said, Isaiah, it was talking about bringing the receiver. I say, what about this guy that's out there? Well, that's too much. Stop. I'm thinking the same thing you think. thinking. Mr. Jones said, that's the piece. We got, we got a young run stopper. We got an old grizzle run stopper. We got all these Maseratis over there on this defense. We got Dan in his what, second, third year. This thing is ready to explode on defense. All we got to do is get a complimentary offense. We got high flying. We got, uh, we got speed all over the place. We got power. 
Our offensive line just stay glued together. Man, this dude here, I seen this dude catch balls. That's unbelievable. Mm-hmm. And that's what we didn't have last year is that hard ball catcher, that 50 50 ball catcher. We did not have that guy. This dude would do it one handed, two handed, behind the back. <laughs> I, I'm with Jess. That, that's a great question. And I, I, I would like to believe in my heart of hearts that when it comes to CeeDee Lamb, that he realizes or he he truly realizes that this is my football team from a wide receiver perspective. That I don the 88s, that I'm next in line, that I've been here, I've showed the necessary progression that you want to see from a guy from his rookie year to, to now. And that whoever comes in here will never be above me will be equal to or less than me, but will help this team get to the next level. I do. I think he's mature enough for that. I think CeeDee Lamb is mature enough for that. I think the conversations that he and Dak would have would be, listen, you're still my guy, but he's going to help you out as well because they can't double all of y'all. They can't double all of y'all. They can't figure out a plan that's going to be able to stop all of y'all. Like, it's, like the, it's like the Warriors. When all the shooters are hitting – it's no defense that's going to be able to stop when everybody's on on their P's and Q's. The, the, the thing is, and uh, your, your offensive coordinator knows how to use all of this. Mike McCarthy knows Ooh. how to use all of this. That's a great segue. Yeah. Hold that thought right there. That's a great segue. <laughs> We're going to go to our final break of the show. We're going to take your calls. 888-855-2297. 888-855-2297. The topic of discussion that we're taking calls on, you just said it. I already had it on the list. See how we work together like this? Mike McCarthy <laughs> like is shirt. Thank you. Mike McCarthy <laughs> is now resuming the play calling duties. He hasn't called plays since he left Green Bay. He had that time when he was out of the league, came back in. Kellen Moore is a play caller. How long will it take for Mike McCarthy to get back into that play calling groove? Will it cost the Cowboys games? Will he not know, understand how to kind of get guys going in the football games? We'll talk about that and we'll hear from the fans. 888-855-2297. Right after this break, this is Hanging with the Boys. We'll be right back. Hey, Cowboys fans, ready to spice up your next watch party? Bring Yokiero guacamole and be the game day hero. Yokiero means I want, and we know you want, great, fresh-tasting, ready-to-serve guacamole for your home-gating and tailgating events. Made with real avocados and the perfect blend of spices, it will be the star of any party. You can find us at your local Albertsons or Tom Thumb in the deli section. If you can't find it, talk to your store manager and tell them, Yokiero, Yokiero guacamole. SeatGeek has your back no matter what kind of fan you are. So whether you're a diehard fan or a don't really care fan, a we got them next time fan or we'll never win again fan, a here for the tailgate fan or a first one through the gates fan, SeatGeek not only makes buying and selling tickets easier than ever before, they made just about everything else easier too. So whether you're a here every week fan or haven't been here in years fan, SeatGeek has you covered. Download the SeatGeek app today. SeatGeek, your ticket to great seats. I'm Dak Prescott, quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. Blockchain.com is one of the most trusted ways to buy, sell, and trade crypto. Whether you're always on the go or stay closer to home, Blockchain.com is just a few taps away. Put the power of crypto in your pocket so no matter where you are, you can trade on your terms and build a crypto portfolio to fit your life. For crypto pros, rookies, and anyone in between, Blockchain.com makes it easy to own a piece of the future. Blockchain.com, trusted by millions, trusted by America's team. Star Sports Tours is the only official fan travel partner of the Dallas Cowboys, offering exclusive game weekend travel packages with pregame sideline access and photo ops with current players, cheerleaders, and Cowboy legends. You want to stay at a team hotel, attend the best tailgate party in Texas, tour the star, and talk X's and O's with me, Everson Walls? With Star Sports Tours, you can. Visit CowboysTravel.com to book your travel package today. Back to Hanging with the Boys. Welcome back to Hanging with the Boys. We are in the off-season edition as we get closer and closer and closer and closer. Football is in the air. Training camp, it's on the horizon. I can see it. School is out. That means we're getting closer to training camp. 
but we're taking your phone calls, 888-855-2297, 888-855-2297. Nate alluded to it in our last segment that uh, this coaching staff, Mike McCarthy, who's now the full-time play caller, he would be able, if you added a guy like DeAndre Hopkins to this roster, he would be able to configure it where C.D. Steele ate and, and, and Brandon Cooks ate and Hopkins ate, and everybody was able to eat on this. And it, the, the term, there's enough footballs to go around, and Mike McCarthy would be the guy that would be heading that ship. Um, and, and, and my question to the fans, my question to the callers is, with Mike McCarthy not having called plays since I, I forget the date, just it, I'm it's like literally just went a blank in my head. Since he was the at, the head coach at Green Bay, help us out there, Chris. <clears throat> now getting back into that saddle, right? Because we've people question Mike McCarthy. Man, he done got his back fixed. He ready. Yeah, he ready. Yeah. <laughs> he done got. Yeah. But people at time was like, man, what a terrible game manager. What a, what a, what a terrible you know in game person. Because sometimes, and I believe that sometimes when you do something so long and you change up. I think sometimes he just he loses the groove of the game. But when you're locked in as a play caller, you understand every scenario because that's how you call plays. Well, now he's back. He's back at calling plays. No. But is there, you know, when you say it's just like riding a bike. Yeah. But when you learn how to ride a bike, you fall. Yeah. Yeah. You fall a couple times. Will this cost the Cowboys or will he just say, you know what, I'm good. I'm but in my the, groove. But the thing is, Jess, all, all, all he has to do – and I learned this from Coach Johnson. I learned this from – from you have to have that guy on your staff. And he was knocked a little bit in Green Bay for that time management. You go out and you get your time management guy that's going to come in your ear. You know, the great Parcells, he kept him one. You know, Coach, this is what we talked about. This is your options. Give him options. This is, hey, Coach, possible time out here. You, you know what I'm saying? This is where we add in the game because he gets into a rhythm and get, doing what he's doing. So he he can – a lot of those things I think you can remedy with the right guy who's willing to play – who say, hey, okay, I, I'm, I'm a coach. I'm not a coach, but I'm the time guy. Right. I got you. And no. so, Coach, I think Coach it, – it'll take Coach during the preseason, I think, just do it during the preseason. And he'll be all right. And nobody has more coaches than a coach staff than the Dallas Cowboys. They got oh, man. How 37 many we got? of them. We got 47 of them. All right, Chris, we got anybody on the phone lines? Uh, yes, we do. We have Mike in Newton, Iowa. Mike in Newton, Iowa. What's up, brother? What's going on, man? Do you think oh, a question? Good, everything. I like, I like what I see on offense and, and defense. And Mike McCartney's doing a really good job. I have to give these guys an A+. Plus. A really A+. Plus, especially you got a good running back. That's an ankle breaker. And you got Turpin, who's an ankle breaker. Are they going to put him on offense more? Because these guys are going to be dangerous. I, I, see, I see some good things here. I mean, is Turpin going to be on offense involving more in offense? That's my question. Because the guys, these guys are dangerous. I can see it. I, man, I, I can see it, man. Thank you, man. We appreciate the call all the way from Newton, Iowa. Will Turpin be more involved? Thanks for not answering our question. But will Turpin be more involved? <laughs> By the way, 2018 but, 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 was the last he came, time he called plays. But he came in. But he came in. He told us that Mike McCarthy is going to be all right, and I just think he will, man. This is what I. This is what I saw when we. This hired is the him. freaky Mike that yeah. I've been waiting for, yeah, right? This so. is the, the freaky Mike. I, I don't know if th there will come a point in time, and this I know this sounds crazy, but you're going to have to make a decision because. When you look at what they have in Deuce Vaughn and they look what they have in Kevontae Turpin, it's not enough room on this roster on game day for two really small guys. So who, who is a guy that you feel can give you the best mismatch at that size? Because you already say to yourself, okay, I got C.D. Lamb, who's my, who's my do-it-all guy. I got Brandon Cooks, who is my down-the-field guy. Um, I got Michael Gallup, who can be my 50-50 guy. I don't know if they're going to add anyone else. So what is my use offensively for Turpin, right? It, it, specialty plays. In, but that kind of gets almost played a little bit because every time you add a, 
Every time you put a guy like Turpin on the field and you don't use him, it's kind of almost like a wasted rep a little bit. Uh, but then you when you look at a guy like Deuce Vaughn and you go, if I can get Deuce Vaughn in space against a linebacker or safety or nickel, we might have something. So it's gonna be that's gonna be one of the challenges for Mike McCarthy. Which one of the smaller guys do you feel gives you the best mismatch when it comes to the game planning on game day usage? Because I don't, I don't think there's enough room and enough plays to insert both of these guys into the mix. Let me tell you something. They tell average us. anywhere from 65 to 70 plays a game. And all I said last year is you mean to me you can't find five plays for Turpin. And uh, Jet do, sweeps? We don't, I'm done no, seeing no, no, I no, no, no. I'm talking about quick screens. Uh, you know, I listen to that. Like I say, they, they – they use them in multiple ways. But see, here's at my TCU. But see, here's my thing, Nate. Here's my thing. Do I want to throw a bubble screen to Turpin, or do I want to throw a bubble screen to Brandon Cooks or CD Lamb? I thought I thought to the little guy. Really? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, I don't. Th- okay. I, 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 I just think this here. Yeah, go ahead. He stand back there on punts, and he let you get this close to him, mm-hmm. and he fake you out. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's a, that's a cover corner. So you throw me the ball and you standing right there. I'm putting my money on him because I've seen him do it on punt returns. Yeah, I also see him in open space running to a guy and get tackled in a, in a playoff game. Bruh. Nah. So I, I just he, I think I think C. He had Lamb play is a guy. Eighteen thousand hours of football. He had an <laughs> off season this year. He okay. understands the game is slowed down for him. He knows right. what he can. The, the thing that gets me is. As much as I love Deuce Vaughn, mm-hmm. I know what this kid Turpin is. And everybody want to – Do we, though? Yeah, Offensively, I know. we know what he is special to. There's a difference, Nate. There is a difference. There's a difference. There's yeah, a difference. it is a difference. There's a difference. They're coming up – those guys that's, on, that's, that's cornerbacks and safeties, they ain't coming up with the same viciousness those dudes coming down the field with to knock your head off in, <laughs> in part return. Yeah, there is a difference. The bottom line is this kid, Turpin, can do more okay. right now. Okay. Because he, he, the game is slowed down for him. Deuce is going to have to get adjusted. Is they going to give him a, enough reps in uh, training camp? See, this is what – we we running around out here in our shorts. And oh, that's a go ahead, go ahead. You no, running no. around out here in your shorts, and you're looking quick, and you're looking good. But what happened when them ham hocks when when Big Hankins <laughs> wrapped that thing around your neck? Is you going? Is you going backwards? Is your helmet coming off? <laughs> I promise you, Turpin is ready, man. Okay, I'm with you. I'm with you, I'm brother. Re- I'm not fighting. I'm going you. with the known. Okay, I'm going with the known. I'm not bro. fighting you, brother. I'm not fighting you, Chris. We got another caller. Yeah, we have got Sam in Atlanta. Sam in the ATL, Shawty. Yeah, he just got off the line. Come on, Sam. That was Sam. Hey, That's your boy. On, That's Sam Williams. Who he was. <laughs> just Sam, like y'all line, didn't put man. me on quick enough. <laughs> Come on, Sam. I have no one after that. All right. Well, that'll do it then. We'll, we'll get out of here. Let me say this right quick. Like, Don't you underestimate I'm not, Turpin, man. I'm don't not, you be like the rest of them. I'm not. But you said in training camp, right? Where is Turpin going to get the reps unless someone gets hurt? If we don't sign Hopkins, he can get his reps. Where? Because City going to get his. Right. Cook's going to get his. Right. They're going to get. They're going to. They're not going to practice every day. They're They're not going to practice every day. They're going to push Michael Gallup to get back to 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 some form of his. Mm -hmm. Jalen Tolbert is still a third round pick that they're not going to just let fall by the wayside. They they're going to try to get value over the guy that they drafted in the third round. Jalen Smith comes after that. Don't forget the training camp darling that so they you had. think Mike McCarthy got all that time. Don't to just forget play around the training with guys. camp darling that they had last year in Houston. He's still on this roster. You think McCarthy gonna have all this free time? Okay. So all I'm saying is, is that there is a better chance that Deuce gets reps at running back in, in the equation with if anybody they're gonna rest, they're gonna rest Tony Pollard. So now you got Malik Davis, Ronald Jones, and Deuce. The list, the, the 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 line to get reps is a lot shorter in the running back room than it is in the wide receiver room. Don't forget about Rico. And Rico. Uh, you just got to extend it by one. 
<laughs> then you, you, add, you, want, you want to add Simi to the mix? We can add Simi <laughs> Fogel to the mix. Rico Dowdle's a running back. <laughs> that's what I'm so saying. This just got saying. longer. If the line to the to getting some playing time is there, the line is shorter in the running back room than it is. All I'm trying to share with you is I'm going with the known versus the unknown. Okay. And you can't – and Coach McCarthy, I don't know if he has another year on his contract, but this is it. So you're going to be de- dazzling around with something you don't know? Uh-uh. Let's go with what you know. That's why they'll get more reps in training camp. All right. That'll do it for us today. Kurt, I hope you recover uh, from that. Um, you can take a shot. Man, tweet at Kurt. Make sure he's okay today, would you please? <laughs> yeah, he can get a shot the fans, for that problem. That is. Yeah, the fans. I'm off Twitter for a little while, so – you text him and tweet him. Fans, tweet Kurt. He went to see the doctor 24 hours of that thing over the weekend. Took one too many, but I'm pretty sure he had some fireworks happening at his crib. Uh, but we thank you all for joining us again. For Chris in the back, for Audio Jazz, for Bro Willie, Bro William, Bro Will, 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 Will all the Wills. Yes, all yes. the Wills. Willie. Willie. For Nate Newton, I am Zaddy Holly. This is Hanging with the Boys. Until next time, good people. We out. It's a shout out there. This has been a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about this, Cowboys?